Years ago, I found some beetles in a thing of oatmeal. I hatched them out, had them around for a while, eating wood chips. Eventually, they ate through a styrofoam container. Kept that in the back of my mind of all my experiments. Uh, there were some surfboards left behind uh, on a trip with Yvonne Chouinard from Patagonia. Took him on a trip behind the island. He gave us some boards that were unbreakable. We broke them, and we were left with that. So years later, when I realized these worms could eat EPS foam, I remembered him telling me that these surfboards were made out of EPS foam. So we fed them to our worms and they ate them. Uh, and then we kind of shelved that for a little while. Then years later on, we heard some reports that were saying that the material they eat is actually non-toxic. So we've been running with that ever since and uh, taking it to the next level and developed a system where we can actually take a surfboard, we can feed it to the worms, and we can be left with just a shell that we can grind that down into a composite for making new fins. So we're in the process of testing, crossing our T's and dotting our I's. Uh, we don't want people to let the enthusiasm get ahead of the facts and just start having styrofoam be fed to these worms, which could potentially break it down into smaller material. And you could get that into an ecosystem if you weren't careful with it. So we are in the process of fine tuning it. This is a piece of styrofoam you can see right here. Well, that's all that's left of a piece of styrofoam. And in here, everything that you see in there besides the stones that are with it, that used to be styrofoam. And you can actually see some of the worms right in there still eating it. I think there's a few moving around in there. Yeah, there's one right there. I don't know if you guys can get that very well. But there's worms in there and all that stuff you see at the bottom, those fine particles that looks like dirt or sand, that's old styrofoam that these worms have actually eaten down into these particles. We're then able to put it through another process and turn it right back into soil. So we're able to take the styrofoam and break it down like it would be broken down in nature. Styrene is found in peaches, apples, pears. The idea that they can take something through this bacteria in their gut and bring it full circle back into what it came from before it was petroleum. It was plant material. It was some organic compound that eventually turned into petroleum. And then that petroleum eventually was turned into styrofoam. Well, we're like taking that to the next level and taking that styrofoam and turning it back into trees that eventually could turn back into oil millions and millions of years and several dinosaurs later. Um, that's the idea of it. So yeah, that's about how do we figure that out quite by accident and it's awesome.